Hello, I'm Adam Barrelay and welcome to this Crystal Connections video. We're exploring the crystal of Rainforest Rhyolite. Now, rhyolites are a group of crystals that are found in various places around the world. Normally, they're associated with volcanic activity, and as the lava starts to dry, there'll be little air pockets in there, and things like chalcedony and quartz and agate will form within there. So what you start getting is you get these really beautiful, interesting crystals with all these different kind of little holes and shapes and air bubbles and different things in it. Now, rainforest rhyolite is one that's particularly found in Australia and has this particularly green colour, kind of reminiscent of the colours of the Australian rainforest. You will find similar rhyolites in other places around the world, but they tend to be more yellow or orange or brown. So in this video, we're going to explore this rhyolite stone that you can work with and all the different ways that it will bring beauty, harmony, magic, balance, and so much more into your life. As a green crystal, of course, rainforest rhyolite is going to connect with the heart. But from my experience, it's not so much about the heart chakra where we're looking at my relationship with you or another human, but more so connecting with the heart of Mother Nature and feeling a love and a reciprocated energy between that. You know, rainforest rhyolite is actually a really great stone to wear or carry when you're feeling a little bit lonely. It reminds you that humans are not the only conscious beings on this planet, that trees have a consciousness, that birds have a consciousness, that animals have a consciousness, even rocks have a consciousness. And when we slow down and have that patience, we can actually start to feel that connection. Although at the moment there are no other humans around, I'm surrounded by other conscious beings. How could I possibly be alone when I'm surrounded with so many beings by me? And I can really feel that connection with Mother Earth when I'm working with this stone. This is a really great one for helping you to just tune into Mother Earth's healing energy, her providing energy, her comfort energy, and just whenever you're out in nature, a beautiful crystal to meditate with to feel that oneness and that strength of connection as well. Now, do you work in some way or another with plants, with herbs or essential oils, or maybe you just want to have a greater connection with them? Maybe you're really interested in connecting with um, you know, essential oils more and bring them into your house. Our life, or maybe you're trying to start a garden or bring in some more indoor plants. Well, Rainforest Rhyolite will really help you in that way to kind of understand what the plants are trying to do and that connection with them as well. So if you feel that you really want to connect with Mother Earth and especially the plant world, then Rainforest Rhyolite will really help you. The final place where this is going to be obviously excelled is in rainforests. So if you are going walking in the bush or a forest, especially in Australia, but anywhere in the world, make sure you have a piece of this in the pocket. It'll help to amplify and increase the effectiveness and the metaphysical healings that can come from that as well. When we spend time in the rainforest or in the bush, we are subjected to different phytonocides, and these really help to our body, our mind, and our spirit to relax, to feel more calm. Rainforest Rhyolite will help to enhance that, um, that experience. And you may have heard of Shinrin-yoku, also known as forest bathing. Well, this is a beautiful crystal to use in those cases too. Rainforest Rhyolite can help you with success. Being a green crystal is to do with abundance as well. Now, have you got a goal or maybe you've got a business that's kind of dragging its feet and showing a bit too long to bear fruit and become successful? Then carrying Rainforest Rhyolite or charging it by visualizing the success you want into that crystal and then keeping it near you can help to bring that out. Now, there is also a bit of a playful energy about Rainforest Rhyolite and I find that no matter what age you are, it helps you to keep on going and to never give up. This can actually be a really great stone for people that have retired. Sometimes when people have worked all their lives and then they retire, they're like, what do I do now? They feel a bit redundant. And this can help you with new passions and new pursuits, whether you're retired or just at any kind of phase in your life where you're like, right, what else can I learn? What else can I explore in that type of way? This calming nature of this rainforest rhyolite, just through walking through a rainforest when we start to feel more relax, more balance, everything's back in perspective. This can really help to get, you know, when you've got a situation in your life that just seems like there's no solution, there's no resolution, it can really help you to find those, um, find new pathways through. I even find kind of meditating and running your finger and looking at all the different pathways on there can help you find a pathway out of trouble into a solution and out of the woods as well. So whenever you're feeling a little bit stuck and your kind of things aren't moving quick enough for you, then reach for Rainforest Rhyolite in that way. 
On a slightly deeper level, what you'll find with rainforest rhyolite is it can be used in meditation or contemplation to remember why you incarnated on this earth. We are here to have a physical existence, to have a physical experience, to dive into the smorgasbord of physical delights that the Creator has given us. And if you're feeling a bit clear on which direction to take, then Rainforest Rhyolite will help you to go, ah, that's right, I remember my gifts. I know how, um, what, what light I have to shine on the world and how to get out there and share that with the world and really prosper in that way as well. Use Rainforest Rhyolite to help you feel more comfort when you feel that you're at a crossroads and you're not sure which direction to take. It really helps you to drop in, follow your heart and follow the guidance of what Mother Nature and even the universe is prompting you towards doing as well. Now, as we go through life, sometimes we make some bad decisions and we can really beat ourselves up about this. But I want to teach you a really basic healing grid that you can try at home to kind of make you realise that to make mistakes is part of the experience. And that's how we learn. It means that you're out there actually doing something. So what I want you to do is I want you to get some magnolia essential oil. And I want you to anoint that over your heart. In fact, if you can draw love hearts with the magnolia oil, that can be really great. Magnolia has a really kind of ancient, it's been on the earth for a long, long time. And so it's really, really great for helping to reassure you that what you're going through right now, that you are enough and this is just part of the process. Lay down with that magnolia on your heart and then place a piece of rose quartz over the heart as well. Then take four pieces of rainforest rhyolite. Place one at each sole of your feet and hold one in each hand. And then just lay down and feel an energetic hug of the earth. Feel the earth embrace you. Feel the energy of the rainforest rhyolite, both the nurturing aspect of Mother Nature, but remember that this is also formed through volcanic activity, so that empowering nature as well. Feel that fire, feel that earth, feel them kind of resurrecting you and bringing you back to your full glory. You made a mistake, that's right. Dust yourself off, get back on the horse and off you go again. Rainforest Rhyolite will help you get back into action and realizing that, hey, probably the mistake you made and how bad it's making you feel doesn't really matter as much as it feels right in this very moment. To a lesser or greater degree, we're all aware of the vital importance of rainforests and the role that they play on Mother Earth. Basically, they are the lungs of the Earth, helping to bring a lot of the carbon dioxide back into oxygen and send that back out into the world. You probably know as well that our rainforests are threatened and in many parts of the world are being decimated bit by bit. Now, anything you can do to help preserve the rainforest in your practical everyday living can be absolutely amazing. Also donating to charities that are there, reforesting areas that have been chopped down and protecting those that are still threatened as well. You can also, on an energetic level, use your rainforest rhyolite to protect rainforests. Hold a piece in your hands and visualize a place that you know might be under threat. See the trees being resilient and protected. Maybe enshroud them in a white light that is protective and stopping, you know, politicians and businesses and corporations making poor decisions that will decimate these rainforests that have taken thousands and thousands and thousands of years to become what they are. Even if we chop them down and replant them, they're not going to get that pure biodiversity and we're also probably going to lose some valuable plants, possibly some healing plants in there, animals, insects, birds, and so on as well. So if it breaks your heart to see the rainforest being destroyed, the animals and the plants losing their homes, as well as the gnomes, fairies, and the mythical beings, then do whatever you can every day on a practical level to preserve rainforest, but on an energetic level, use your rainforest rhyolite to send protective energy out to those regions. If you've been using a rainforest rhyolite quite a lot, then you're going to want to cleanse it. Now, the best way to cleanse this one I find is using the element of earth because it has such a strong earth connection. Ideally, in a rainforest or somewhere that has a lot of trees would be absolutely amazing. Now, if it's tumbled like this, you can probably bury it in the ground. Just leave a marker so you can find it later on or just placing it on a bit of natural earth will be really great as well. Because this has a really strong connection to the plant kingdom, you can use it with essential oils as well. I mentioned before Magnolia essential oil. She has a real grandmotherly energy. Her gift is reassurance and reassures you that you are enough and you're doing fine. And she works really beautifully with your rainforest rhyolite to bring in that gentle, comforting energy. 
You can also bring in guidance from the animal kingdom. And the animal that kind of jumps into my mind, or maybe I should say hops into my mind, is the tree kangaroo. Now, have you seen a tree kangaroo before? They're slightly different to the kangaroos that you may commonly know that hop around Australia. These ones actually, obviously enough, live in trees and they are part of the kangaroo family, but they don't so much hop. They have a lot more of a gentle nature, as does rainforest rhyolite. But the kangaroo is still renowned for they always go forwards. They're always progressing forwards and looking at how we can evolve, how we can ascend, how we can get to the next path, you know, or the next step in our path or the next chapter in our journey. So rainforest rhyolite with that volcanic energy will help with that. Let's keep going forward. Let's keep going forward. But we can do it in a gentle way. It doesn't need to be a forceful way as well. Astrologically, this would definitely be associated with Venus as well as the asteroid um, known as Ceres, uh, which is also associated, or Ceres is the Greek name, or sorry, the Roman name, <laughs> the Roman name for the Greek goddess Demeter. So this is a major asteroid in the asteroid belt that also has a big impact on how we nourish and nurture ourselves. And so you can work with that asteroid, look at how it is in your birth chart and so on, and this crystal will really help you resonate with that as well. Venus rules the day Friday. So the best day to work with your rainforest rhyolite is Friday. Now I'd love to know, have you got a piece of this in your collection? If so, how have you used it and what have you noticed? Please share with our crystal loving community and leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelow. Blessed be.